what is going on youtube this is vice speaking and welcome back to some more octopath traveler man i am so excited for this episode i am wondering as i've been doing for the past couple of chapters now do you happen to know where i am the music might sound like a certain place and the buildings might look like a certain place but if you're thinking ripple tide you're wrong this is in fact gold shore because what we're doing today is we are tackling alfin's chapter two story now i have a lot of updates and i'll try and breeze through them as fast as i possibly can but one major one is i bought this new rod for cyrus is a sapphire rod 158 elemental attack disgusting and i got this elemental augmenter if you happen to know where i got that from then you know i've been doing a little bit of exploring that adds just a straight up 100 elemental attack guys if i have the sapphire rod equipped in battle uh, cyrus's elemental attack is a whopping 640. I don't even know what to say. Okay? I don't even know what to say. If you guys are still not sold on Cyrus, maybe, just maybe you're a lost cause, man. Let's hear a tale. Alfin Chapter 2. The story so far. And so, Alfin left behind his sleepy village, in hopes of bringing succor to the suffering. He asked for no coin for his services, to honor the man who once saved his life. With the words of his friend Zeph in his heart, he wandered from town to town, until his travels brought him to Goldshore. In this idyllic town by the sea, surely there was someone in need of his aid. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing quite like a town by the sea. Even if the air is a bit briny for my liking. Go for a swim? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Old Zeke's been stricken too. That's ten in just a week. Fever spreading fast. Whatever are we to do? Now that you mention it, I hear there's a traveling apothecary in town. Oh? <laughs> Where it travels fast. Aye. They say he whipped up a tonic that cured one boy's fever overnight. I see. She. Oh, did I read it wrong? Did it say she? Dang, I must have dyslexia or something. That's weird. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure I don't. So, I've got a colleague in town. Wonder if she'd be interested in talking shop. Um, oh gosh. Uh, oh, it hurts. Howdy. Are you okay, little girl? Here, you dropped something. A seashell, is it? Huh? Th thanks. Shucks. Looks like you scraped up your knee. Mind if I have a look? Ouch, I bet that smarts. I know the feeling. I'm always tripping over my own two feet. But every time you pick yourself back up, you'll find yourself mu that much tougher for it. All right. That'll do her. One of my best healing bombs. Or one of my best healing bombs. There. Thanks. Thanks, stranger. I'm Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. Hi. Hi, I'm Alfin. That almost rhymes, eh? That's amazing. Neat. Are you a medicine man? <laughs> you might say that. I'm what they call an apothecary. Wow. I've never met one of you before. Nice to meet you, Mr. Pocketary. Now listen here. <laughs> Alfin will do. Hey there. Hey, Alfin. Can I ask you a favor? Oh? Go for it. Hmm. It's my sister, Flynn. She caught a fever and she's been in bed all week. She's always crying, and no matter how much she sleeps, it just gets worse and worse. Oh. Say no more. I'll fix her up right as rain. After all, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> oh, thank you. Our house is right there. Well, let's do it. We got banter. I see. 
thou art good with children. You think so? Can't say I've ever thought about it too much. Though I always liked playing with the young ones back home. So thou hast experience. The best teacher. Tis a fine gift indeed to bring joy to the faces of children. Shucks, I don't reckon it's much of a gift. A big smile's all you need. They're infectious, you know. I wonder. It's true. Come on, why don't you give it a go? Like this? <laughs> That's how you do it. I'm feeling better already. See, if the grown-ups aren't smiling, the kids get worried. They'll figure something's up. Verily. Thou art a wiser man than it would first appear in. Oh my gosh, can you just imagine? Haunted with a serious nature, popping an awkward smile. Oh, wow. oh gosh. Is there any hope for a my lady? It's just the fever that's going around. My remedy will have her on her feet in no time. How are you? And down it goes. Well, Flynn, did it help? Yes. Wow, I feel better already. I mean, I think it's because we're in a video game and healing type medicines work instantly. Oh my. Just feel her forehead. The fever's all but gone. Oh, how can we ever repay you? Ever since their father died, I've raised my two girls on my own. I fear I have little in the way of coin. My sympathies. You have my sympathies. Worry not. Your, ki your kind words are payment enough. Thank you. T truly? You are too kind, my lady. <laughs> Just doing my job. And with that, I should be on my way. Oh, and of course. Should the symptoms return, please don't hesitate to call me. Oh. Here I am. <laughs> Where is my patient? I heard a poor girl was suffering from a terrible fever. Alfin. She's right there, Alfin. Oh. Aha. Just sit tight. I'll have you feeling better in no time. Hmm? She looks just fine to me. Hey! Ellen, what are you thinking bringing this scruffy-looking stranger into our home? Hmm? Pardon, madam, but I'm an apothecary. I only meant to... Really? Oh, are you now? My daughter's already been treated by a professional, so I'm afraid we won't be needing your services. Good day, sir. Dang! She squared up. <laughs> oh man, that's good guy Alfin. What type of cruel human being would make Alfin feel bad? Aww. Tough crowd. She made it sound like I'm some kind of quack salver. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alfin. I didn't know there was another pocket theory in town. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your sister's feeling better, and that's what matters, right? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks anyway, Alfin. See ya. Take care, Ellen. And try not to catch cold. Mm -hmm. You too. That must have been the apothecary everyone was buzzing about. That girl's forehead wasn't even warm. Whoever that rival is of my whoever that rival of mine is, she sure knows her stuff. What I wouldn't give to be able to pick her brain. Oh man. That was a rude mom. We were only there to help. Your skill in brewing salves is most admirable. Well, you've got your sword play to boast of. Me? I've got my medicine. Just so, my friend. Neither curing nor fighting is a contest as such, but we all hope to triumph in our own field. And indeed, meeting fellows in the same trade can inspire a man, make him strive a little harder. At least, so it is among men of the sword. 
I guess you've had your run-ins with the rivals who you hate and losing to. That would be all of them. But unlike swordsmen, the world can never have too many gifted healers. My thinking exactly. That's why I need to help. That's why I need to keep getting better, so I can help as many folks as I can. A noble ambition. Oh, I appreciate that, Ulrich. I love how these guys always have each other's backs, and it really does feel like a just a, a tiny little family. Oh, here we go. It's just like I'll Tressa and that other guy. Hmm? What's all the hubbub? Oh, miss. Oh, miss. How, how can, can we, we ever... ever repay you? Oh, she's got her lines on her own. Okay. Thanks to your tincture, my dear husband is out of bed for the first time in weeks. My word, it worked like a miracle. And for such a modest fee, no less. You could charge tenfold, and it would still be a steal. <laughs> oh, you are far too kind. I was only doing my job. Seeing your hail and hearty smiles is payment enough for me. After all, we apothecaries have a sworn duty to ease suffering wherever we go, do we not? Fine words, those. You must be the apothecary everyone's been talking about. Indeed. Judging from that satchel of yours, I trust I am speaking to a colleague? You bet. Though, I've only started my journey. I'm... Vanessa. Vanessa Heisel. A pleasure. A sworn duty to ease suffering, eh? I like the sound of that. And I couldn't agree more. It's not about the coin we make. So long as I can keep myself fed, the joy of knowing I've eased someone's pain is all the payment I need. Good guy, Alfred. Of course. It is for that very purpose that I seek to ever hone my skills. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Hey, would it be too much for me to ask to take a look at your pharmaceutics? Hmm? Well, just hearing about it, it's clear you're out of my league. The ingredients, the preparation, anything you could teach me, I'm all ears. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. What do you mean? I thought you were all, you know, for the good of everybody. Ah, beg pardon. I understand. We do need to put food on the table after all. Oh man, Alvin is such a good guy. I would have contested, but you know what? After he said that, now I'm turning into a nicer guy, so now I'm like, okay, fine. No need for apologies. You're quite the diligent one, aren't you? Oh, you bet. I'm still new to this, after all. Every day, I'm learning something new. At any rate, I'm glad to know this town is in good hands. See you around. <laughs> you flatter me, friend. Fare thee well. Man, this world does not deserve Alfin. Alrighty, where should I head now? Maybe I'll take a stroll by the beach. Oh, travel banter. Oh ho! You are devoted to your studies indeed. Most admirable. I've got lots to learn, still, is why. Even if I spend every free moment with my nose in the books, it's never enough. Not if I want to be able to treat every injury or illness I come across. With your passion, I do not doubt you will one day achieve that. More than knowledge itself, it is drive and dedication that makes someone the best they can be. You already have the most important thing you need for learning. You think so? Can't say it ever felt that way to me. Keep up the work. 
and you will become the apothecary you always wanted to be. I can't help but feel like you're being overly generous there, Professor. But if you have that much faith in me, maybe I should too. <laughs> it just it just tugs at your heartstrings. It's so oh my gosh. Now. Well, looky here. Good afternoon. Hello again, Alfin. This is for you. Do you like it? What's this now? A seashell. Hey, thanks. It's a beaut. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Well now. <laughs> I didn't do much, but payment accepted. <laughs> I give the prettiest ones to Flynn. She likes them too. You don't say. You're really raking them in. I bet you could sell them at the markets for a small fortune. Mm -hmm. I know. That's why I give most of them to Mother. Hmm. Oh? Hmm. She cries sometimes. Because we don't have any money. I see. You don't say. How about you, Alfin? Do you have money? <laughs> I think you got me beat with all those shells, but I get by. Are you sure? I can give you some if you need them. Now listen here. Money makes the world go round. This much is true. But you know what, Ellen? You, Flynn, and your mother have each other. And that's more valuable than all the money in the world. Hmm. It is? You bet. You can bet on it. <laughs> Mother says Flynn still needs to rest. But when she's feeling better, we're going to come back and collect she sell seashells together. Well now. Don't you worry about that. That Vanessa knows her stuff. Flynn will be doing cartwheels in no time. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. now seems like back up here this way okay here we go wow it's beautiful that shell ain't it though ellen's got a heart of gold i'll say mind if i take a closer look this shell you're thinking it may be something rare valuable even let's see now why yes i'm sure of it this shell the shell is utterly ordinary. In terms of value, at least. But Ellen gave it to you with all the gratitude in her heart. And that means there's no treasure like it in all the world. <laughs> I see what you did there. But thank you, Tress. So don't lose it now, you hear? Oh, genuine Tress. Uh... Something going on here? Huh? What's this? There seems to be another commotion. <gasps> Miss Heisel, come quickly! My husband won't stop coughing! My sympathies. Oh dear, isn't that a shame? It seems there's a, there's a nasty malady going around? The Gaborah Whooping Cough, it's called. It hails from a land far, far to the south. But worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. You don't say! Oh, Miss Heisel, I knew we could count on you. Indeed. My word. Even the bottle is simply exquisite. And this will cure him, you say? But of course. It most certainly will. It's brewed from a very special type of moss, you see. One that grows only in a remote and quite treacherous location. Because of the rarity of the key regent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. <gasps> Money's no object to us. We'll pay anything. Well, 
Splendid. In that case, 100,000 leaves of file should suffice. What? Oh dear. That is substantial. <gasps> Still, my dear daughter's life is at stake. I'll take it. I have no objection. If Lady Heisel made it, I'm sure it's worth every leaf. I'll take two. Goodness. For me as well. I'll spare no cost for the health of my loved ones. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, friends. Oh. Lady, I fear my Flynn has come down with a cough as well. Oh dear. The poor girl. You have my sympathies. Oh. I fear that we do not have the coin that gentry do, but... Here. This is my entire savings. Might you pray sell me a single file? Even just a sip. Anything to save my poor Flynn. How long's it been? I'm sorry. But I fear my medicine is in high demand and short supply. I simply cannot let go of it so cheaply. <laughs> Please, have mercy. My poor Flynn. Whatever am I to do? Still oh, passes right by me, like I'm not an apothecary. Hmm, I'm almost sold out. I'd better go stock up on some you-know-what. Holy... Poor, poor Flynn. Oh, merciful Elfric, pray bring the flame to light our path. My dearest, ever since I lost you, I've scarce been able to feed and clothe our girls. They have suffered far more than their share. And yet, every day they bring me seashells. They tell me to smile. Must I look on helpless as poor Flynn wastes away? Have I failed them once and for all? Oh gods, if there is still mercy in this world, please save her. I pray with all my heart and soul. Criminy. Mind if I drop in for a bit? What? Hmm? You, you're that <laughs> one scraggly, scruffy-looking apothecary at your service. I might not be Miss Heisel, but if you need my help, it's yours. Oh my gosh, the chords in this piece are so beautiful. Uh... What, you still don't believe me? Look, lady. Let me take a look. Oh my god, <laughs> let me shut up. So how about it? The gods may be all-powerful, but a checkup never hurts. <sighs> oh gosh, that's an intense cough. Help me! Yeah. <laughs> this isn't good. She's coughing so hard she can barely breathe. How did a rare disease from a far-flung land come to this town anyhow? You said it was Vanessa's medicine that cured your daughter's fever, yes? Oh, yes. It sure did. It worked like a miracle. I don't know. What kind of medicine was it? Ah. Uh... What kind? There are still a few drops left. Oh? Let me see it. You didn't use the whole thing? Well, maybe that's why she's sick. No, I'm just kidding. This aroma. It must have been brewed from Gabora Evergreen. Hmm. That would make sense. It's a potent fever reducer, after all. But I remember reading something else about it. What's this now? What was it now? 
Oh, wait, here it is. Gabora evergreen, a flowering plant native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the continent of Gabora, known for its antipyretic properties. A constituent compound has been known to cause inflammation and swelling of the throat, inducing severe coughing. These symptoms resemble those of the whooping cough known to plague the land whence it hails. Due to the risk of severe and adverse reactions, use of Gabora evergreen in any dosage is strongly discouraged. <laughs> that Vanessa, she couldn't have. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. Son of a... She knew exactly what she was doing. She gave the villagers that medicine for free, knowing full well that when the side effects kicked in... <laughs> but worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. Because of the rarity of the key regent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. Sharks. She induced those symptoms on purpose so she could sell her overpriced elixir. That twisted, conniving... Hold tight, Flynn. I'll have you feeling better in no time. Give me two gifs and I'll brew you up just the thing. Th th <coughs> Thank you. Alvin. Huh? Vanessa said something about a special moss. A moss that can cure it, cure coughing. That's it. Miss, have you ever seen a moss around here that glows blue? Hmm. Moss? I, I've never heard of such a thing. But I don't get out of town much. You might try asking around? Here we go. Gotcha. I'll be back with just the thing I need to cure Flint's cough for good. You bloody better. Stop that at once. Ellen, where did you learn such language? <laughs> <laughs> you just sit tight and keep Flint company, okay? Inquire around town for more information. Uh, well, we got one guy in here. He looks a bit interesting. Let's see. A coach from Betrayed, he puts the safety of his customers above all else and refuses to traverse dangerous regions regardless of the payment offered. Owing to his experience, he knows many a shortcut in back road. But Nessa's destination. Interesting. I couldn't quite pick up the significance of that, but... I'm sure it meant something. I'm probably just slow or something. Let's see, up here. Did I miss? Oh, there's an item. Let me sure to pick that up. Hello, my good sir. A haughty aristocrat who leads a laugh of luxury, turning his nose up, but not born in the privilege. He is in latest attitudes, have in turn earned him to hire the common folk nothing. Gossip of glowworm moss. All right. So Vanessa set out for the caves of Azure to the east. Got it. Okay, so their actual descriptions didn't give much detail. I don't know why I read them in that case. Um, but anyways, guys, it's about that time, man. A silver axe and a large soul stone. Okay. Yeah, recording's at 30 minutes, 48 seconds, so I'm going to have to call it here. So if you guys did enjoy man, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve these episodes in the comments. With all that said, guys, I have been Vice, and this has been Octopath Traveler, man. I'm going to let that other do its thing, and I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? I'm out of here.